Hello everyone, welcome to this session. The objective of this session is to see how to assign a warehouse number to the plant and storage location combination. Now here before we go ahead, the most important point that I would like to highlight. Point number one, plant plus storage location is a unique key. That means it works uniquely. It is a one-to-one -one relationship. That means one plant plus one storage location can be assigned to one warehouse number only. However, one warehouse number can be assigned to multiple plant with multiple storage locations. Now, here uh, we had already got our warehouse number created. So now we want our warehouse number to be associated to one plant. But prior to that, we would be needing one storage location. So let's create one storage location. The transaction code is OX09. So I'm going inside. Uh, let's assume that the, we are going to take the plant. Uh, how many plants do we have? Okay, let's see. How many plants do we have? 1000. Oh, we have a lot many plants. Okay, I'm going to take the warehouse plant as 1000 only and I would say okay. And then the storage location since our warehouse number is TIP. So I'm going to take it as TIP1. So I'm going to create a new entry. I'm just going to copy it. TIP1. This is TIP S log hyphen central. Right. The IPS lock. This should be more than enough. So I have created the warehouse number. Uh, we, oh, sorry, I have created the storage location for the warehouse number assignment. So I'm going to say OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the SPRO. And we will be checking the enterprise structure, the assignment, and then we'll be going into the Logistics execution assign warehouse number to the plant storage location. Now, here you can see that one plant, one storage location is assigned to one warehouse number only. Now, the point that I was talking about that one plant, one storage location can be assigned to one warehouse number only. Let me prove that. Let me try to assign this 1000 001 0008 to WH1. So, if you try doing that wh1 it would say that the target key must be different from the source key you can see here that means it would not allow you to assign any other warehouse number to the same unique key which has already been assigned to one warehouse number anyways uh, our main entry point was to assign our 1000 plant and TIP1 storage location to our warehouse number. Okay, so let's assign. What you're gonna do is copy anything. Just say you can copy, you can put up a new entry, whatever you feel like. I would say 1000. The S lock was step one, and the warehouse number was step. If you want, you can actually do that as well. I mean, we can put on the drop down list and we can check but I know for sure that it will be there but still let's say here is the S lock here you can see the tip one and here you can see the warehouse number tip GRP so I'm just going to save this now before saving I want to show something F E sixteen N. Now here, this table T three twenty. This is one of the most important table for SAP warehouse management because here it talks about the assignment of the IM storage location to WM warehouse number. Now I would say one thousand and storage location as tip one. You can see there are no entries, right? Now. Here, the number of the entries are there 76. So there are 76 entries right now. Once I would save this, here the number of the entries should be 77. And here, the moment when I should give my storage location, it should fetch me the warehouse number TIP. So let's save this. Let's say OK. 
and now I'm going to check the number of the entries you can see here the number of the entries is 77 now and then I'm going to put my storage location here and I'm going to execute and you can see here let us pick the power warehouse number tip so this is how the uh, warehouse enterprise structure would be created and this is how the assignment of, of the plant and storage location be done to the warehouse number so far we have seen how to create a warehouse number and we have also seen how to assign a warehouse number to the plant plus storage location combination thank you so much for watching this video in the upcoming video we will be looking at how to create the org structure